It seems obvious that finding the right ingredients is the key to making something good. It's safe now. Going from the Freedom Loft in this Otis oh, elevator downstairs. This is the kitchen. Which supplies the new cafe. Homemade food made by women truly desperate for a new recipe. Mandy's ingredients growing up led to addiction, opiates, and crack cocaine, in turn leading to human trafficking. She's now the resource manager here, overseeing women fighting the battle she has lived through. The cafe opened in April. As an extension of the catering program, they've been running for more than a decade in partnership with Catch Court, employing women who have been abused and lost. And human trafficking was to survive? To survive, yeah. Cheyenne delivers meals and works in the kitchen for the cafe on Spring Street. When you say you've been labeled a lot, who are you now? I am a survivor. Clean and sober for her four-year-old daughter. She knows nothing about who I used to be. She just knows who you are. She knows who I am now. Is it working? It's working, yeah. Paula says over the last five years, 83% of her workers have stayed out of trouble. Catering will have a record year, and the cafe now serving up a dish called Recovery.